welcome back. We just unloaded last week's load. Um, we brought it in, we came to this little truck stop here. We sat here, we're about uh, five miles down the road from our delivery. Pulled in there, and to my surprise, it was a giant fucking construction site. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Uh, apparently, it's a great big warehouse, or not warehouse, great big uh, facility. Um, looks like they're building, missed the building, it's like halfway done. Um, sounds like they uh, grow diamonds there, and stuff like that. Uh, so, I didn't get to see anything cool. It is uh, your basic job site, muddy, um, it's been raining. So we unloaded there, came back to this tiny little truck stop, got parked, um, got back on the load board. Um, so to do a little background, we we texted a bro or we contacted a broker yesterday on a load going up to uh, Indiana. Um, sound like it was just a day cab, um, legal load, yada yada. Um, broker, I left a voicemail. Broker actually texted me later that night, um, saying you know what they had on it and uh, they wanted to go 1100. And I. That was uh, two dollars a mile. I'm like, no, it's, uh, I can't do it for eleven hundred. I said I can do it for fifteen. Fifteen hundred bucks for that mileage was two seventy-five a mile. I don't see that being unreasonable at all. And uh, she texted me back. Said the last one she booked, she booked it for thirteen. She can't go. She can't go higher than that. And she said the best she can do is fourteen stood my ground. I said, all right, you know, 1400 that was 250 a mile. I said, all right, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful night. And uh, <laughs> I left it at that, you know. I'm, I am not going to race to the bottom. This is specialized trailers, this is specialized equipment. You are not going to fucking push us to the bottom. It's not happening. So stick to your grounds. I just booked a load. We got to run up to Ashland, Virginia. Picks up tomorrow morning, uh, which is fine because we have all day to do this. Um, just to get up there, and it's only like 200 miles. So we're gonna get up there, and uh, this load is paying 2,100, and it's going to um, southwest part of Michigan, Kalamazoo. So legal load, you know. I'm. You got to stick to your guns on this shit. If we keep taking that cheap ass shit, I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not reasonable for the equipment that we're running, right? Uh, everybody says, know your worth. Exactly it, know your worth. So, stick to your guns. We're gonna head up that way. Uh, the closest truck stop I see is a TA, and as if you know, you watch the channel, I boycott TA, fuck them. They wanna charge for parking everywhere, fuck them. You ain't getting an ounce of my business. I haven't been to a TA since. Not even to take a piss. So uh, I'm going to pull up the map and see what the closest one is. And uh, we're going to go there. Uh, we're not going to go to the TA. I can suck a fat dick. Y'all ever get stuck behind a super load? This guy left, uh, he left the city we unloaded in. I got stuck behind him there. We pulled in the truck stop and uh, found this load and took off and sure shit caught up to him. And he's taking the same exit and everything that we got to go to get to where we're going. Um, so for the past hour, I've been dealing with this. Just fucking 20 miles an hour, dead stops, traffic's backed up. Uh, it used to be a thing, this is hell on a manual, it used to be a thing when traffic would back up like this, you used to burp the traffic. Uh, you would pull that fucking load over and let traffic through, um, but they're not doing it. And what you have there is all these four-wheelers start getting stir-crazy as shit. And uh, they start switching lanes, thinking they like it's a slow vehicle. They start driving like fucking maniacs, not realizing there's nowhere to go. Both lanes are blocked. There's nothing you're going to do. There's police up there. There's power company running with uh, coal trucks. 
to lift up wires higher or like make them high enough so you can go underneath them. There's nothing you can do. But these four wheelers don't understand that. So they're really, they're causing an unsafe condition for all of us that are stuck behind this guy. Um, pretty shitty, if you ask me. Well, we're here again loaded. Little confusion in what we're getting. Looks like we're getting that machine right there and then two augers. All right, so the guy asked me if I needed help loading it, and then as soon as I come in there, he was getting in the machine. Um, so we originally had this whole thing down here. Um, but like I told him, I said I want to air it up before we chain it down. <clears throat> and of course I had to move it, as you can see. So the way we were sitting, we were like 25 30 pounds back here and over 50 on the drive so we definitely had to move it it was legal yes but um i didn't want to put those auger bits on the back the back has a tendency to ride a little bit rougher um so these will should ride good we're x-chained as you can see we're good on the back now and we're good on the front we're good on the drives so um you got your attachment pulling down this is a little uh drilling rig never hauled one of these it kind of operates like an excavator the controls are a little bit different though so just kind of tuck that down in there that should work just fine where's it gonna go right <clears throat> x chain front and back two chains on the <coughs> bits uh, one goes through a hole just so we can't lose it theoretically um, but that's going to give us, so if that's our downforce, this is going to pull down on this side and this one's going to want to pull down on this side. So then that way it doesn't want to turn and it doesn't want to tip. So we should be golden. Um, just another fat shit moment. Took my glasses off because, uh, sweating so bad. I don't want to tear them up, but I'm going to hop in here, cool down a little bit, make sure we got our, um, all of our paperwork figured out where we're going. It's so going to Kalamazoo, Michigan. And uh, then we're going home. Got a lot of stuff to do. So, got the AC cranking while we're loading. Um, that helps us cool down quite a bit. Um, that's a plus side. It's saying it's 83 degrees right now. Um, it's hot sitting in the sun loading, doing all that work. But, uh, so we got our half fenders are in. We gotta go pick them up when we get back. Um, last night, I bought a uh, brand new 655 striker, new coax cable, um, new mount, and new antenna. Um, so this has got dual whips on it. Those are going away. We're just gonna do one on the driver's side. And uh, it's gonna be all brand new setup. Um, it's not a bad radio. It's not as powerful as I want. Um, sometimes I have trouble uh, reaching guys like when they're going across the, we're going down the interstate, guys are going the other way. I lose them pretty quickly. So uh, we're about to change that. Um, not a bad radio, just I wanted something a little bit more powerful, a little bit more, you know, reach out. It does good for basic stuff though. Um, any of you want that, shoot me an offer. I'll let her go for cheap. If not, I don't know, maybe I'll bolt it into my kid's power wheels or something. But uh, we're going to get all our paperwork ready, um, cool down for a little bit here. Uh, I start to break out when it gets real hot like this because it's I don't idle the truck. So, you know, I kind of, I sweat a little bit more than normal. But um, I'll take that over a bunch of idling. So let's get rolling. All right, we're stopping here. Uh, we've been driving for about 45 minutes. Um, there hasn't been any truck stops or any rest areas or anything. So, you know, you gotta throw it on a ramp. Um, we gotta do a load check on this quick. Just because this is the first time hauling any of this, but augers have a tendency 
to twist like this. So if something's off a little bit, this can twist just a little bit going down the road through the bumps and you'll start slacking chains. So let's see, a little bit. It's not bad. That one's good. That one's good. All right, cool. I'm just gonna double check these. Make sure everything's riding good. Nice and tight. Nothing shifting around. These aren't crazy tight. Um, it's sitting on there. It's just to prevent this from bouncing up. Okay, in that from making any contact. But looks like everything's riding good. We're still good on an air gauge back here, about 42. I could maybe use a couple. It's not bad. These are good. Everything's riding good. Yeah, we're good to go. But just wanted to make sure it's always a good practice to do that. Some places require you to do it. I think it might be a DOT requirement. I don't know. What do I look like? The fucking cops? Well, we're here. We're unloaded. And as you can tell, of course, it's pouring um, the entire time as soon as we get here. I don't know who's doing the fucking rain dance, but I need you to stop. I'm soaked again. It's... This is getting ridiculous. Um, I don't know what's up with the weather lately, but all day rain across the entire country is getting pretty fucking old. But so obviously we didn't get no video. Um, it's a fucking mud hole here. I'm done. I'm done with the week. I gotta go with my paperwork from the office, and then I'm going home. We're going to work on the truck. If you guys want to see stuff of uh, like me working on the truck, let me know. Um, otherwise, you know, usually it doesn't get that many views, so I usually don't even bother with it anymore. Um, you'd be surprised how many people don't want to know how to fix their stuff. So, I'm going to get flipped around here, go get my paperwork, and we're going home. See you next week.